How many did y'all come with, Claire? Candace Ellen dreamed of starting her own family. The same thing that every female envisions, you know, I'm gonna get pregnant and, ha and carry a baby for nine months and this is gonna be our baby. But when an infertility condition changed that dream. Not only had I struggled with it for a decade, here it was kind of coming up again of this just isn't working. She found the miracle of adoption, bringing home her now six-year-old son. Now she, a Gallatin High School teacher, and her husband Brandon want their family to grow. Hope. Like yeah. We had hope. Like we're, we're, We can do this. <laughs> hope that they can find the right birth mother and that they can pay for the astronomical adoption fees. What you think, you know, of being 30000 they're now between forty and 60000 but thankfully. Where is the farthest letter, letter going? The Owens Church Friends and a Brentwood nonprofit called Both Hands want to help with the cost. All right, let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much, Father. Together, they're sending hundreds of letters to friends and family to ask for donations for the Owens adoption fees. It's a dream come true. Um, it's been a difficult few years. Um, for us, it's been a difficult few months, and I love kids, and I love being a mom. And so, it, it's simply that, it's just a dream come true. The Adoption Network says experts estimate there are one to two million couples, just like the Owens, looking to adopt. People are very scared to talk about it, um, and they shouldn't be. Don't let the price scare you, because it, if it's meant to be, it'll find a way. While this loving couple has yet to find a birth mother to match with, their dream is always the same. A house full of kids. Like, that's that's our hope. They want a big, um, a big family, you know. Yeah, a big family and... Thanksgivings and Christmases where the tables are packed and there's just people all around. That's what we want. Now, this is not the end of the story. All of those donation requests will go out today to help that family adopt. And then that family and several other volunteers will then go on to help a local widow rebuild her home next month. It's all part of that nonprofit, Both Hands, mission. In Gallatin, I'm Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5.